First on Fox, all of the Portland area bales and lambs markets are closing. The new development comes just about a week after we first told you that two of the four in the area were shutting down. Fox 12's Tyler Dumont spoke with longtime employees and some customers today. He joins us live from one of those stores now in northwest Portland. Tyler. Hey, Wayne. Yeah, well, employees here at the Cedar Mill store tell me they actually just learned yesterday that the store will officially be closing after hearing rumblings for months. Meanwhile, word is now getting out to customers as the local grocery chain's social media pages have now come down. There were no signs on the doors saying so Wednesday, but empty shelves inside their Cedar Mill store tell the story. All four Bales and Lambs Marketplace stores are closing. Employees at their Aloha, Lake Oswego, and Portland locations all said they've been told their last days would be in mid-October. But some customers hadn't even heard until we told them. I did not know. Ann Voris has been shopping at the Garden Home store since it was still family-owned, one of many who have come in for more than just the groceries. Friendly place, helpful place, fun place to bump into neighbors and people that we know. Kind of a community center for a lot of folks because it has the post office, the bank, the bakery, the butcher. No official comment has come from company executives in downtown Portland yet as to why the stores are closing. But some of those who do business with Bales say they've seen signs of financial troubles. Clackamas-based Pacific Food Distributors tells Fox 12 they cut off the grocery stores from distribution about six weeks ago following multiple delayed payments or no payments at all. Employees we sat down with at the Cedar Mill store haven't been given an explanation for the closures either, but say the business has changed. I think a lot of people are doing online stuff now where that wasn't as much. I think people eat out more. It's just, you've seen it kind of in its highest point, especially during the holidays and during the food and wine show. And now, kind of not really have many customers left coming in. It's kind of disheartening and hurts a little bit. Shannon Schwartz and her colleague Lori have worked here for 30 years. Come next month, Shannon will be unemployed and Lori has decided to retire. My biggest thing is I'm going to miss my customers. They um, bring me to work every day. They always have. It's like family here for me. We help each other. We do everything together. Whether it's do something on the shelves or anything. We support each other because it is a family. Support many will likely need as they get through their final days. It's going to be a sad day for all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be hard to hand those keys in when we get there. Yes. Or turn out the lights for the last time. And again, we have reached out to the parent company's CEO, Mark Miller, and his partners, but so far we have yet to hear back. Now, earlier tonight, I actually spoke on the phone with Kenneth Finley. He ran the store uh, in his stepfather's footsteps up until it sold in 2004. He says that it will be tough to see the operation still in his family's name be no more. Reporting live tonight in Northwest Portland, Tyler Dumont, Fox 12, Oregon.